Well, hello there! I'm the Cozy Platypus, and welcome back to another episode of Stardew Valley. We are playing the new 1.6 update today with Sage. Sage loves all things herby and planty, and she's a special soft spot for animals. I wouldn't call her the bubbly type, but more reserved. She loves the idea of spending hours and hours alone on her farm with no one bugging her. And I don't know about you, but I can relate. All right, we're gonna start off our morning watering our crops, of course, and uh, just getting the day started. Now, while I'm doing this, I have to say thank you so much for all your comments and everything on the previous videos that I've posted. It was uh, really cool to see all your guys' feedback and uh, I look forward to sharing more of this series with you. I do apologize for the length of time between uh, now and the last video I posted. I uh, uploaded and then immediately got sick. So that's what I've been doing uh, and I'm really excited to get back into the swing of things here. I think we're going to use some of our energy to start cleaning up our farm. I usually take forever to clean up my farm, honestly, when I start a new save. I don't know, you have such limited energy when you first start and there's just always more exciting things to do. Me sell hats. Okay, Poke? Come to old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Hat mouse. Woohoo! We have hat mouse now. That's awesome. I love the hat mouse. I especially love in these types of games the hats in like the accessorizing. I don't know. I just I really enjoy all of the hats in this game. As soon as I have money, I will be wearing hats all the time because I just think they're all so cute and they have such personality and I really enjoy using the hats to kind of develop the personality of the character that I'm playing with. Uh, so I'm excited that Hat Mouse is here now. I do have some stuff that I need to take to Gunther, so we're gonna do that. We have a whole bunch of stuff for the community bundle, but it is not open yet, so hopefully in the next couple of days in this save, we'll get that opened and get cruising with our community bundle finished. I know a lot of people have been doing the, re the remixed, I think, the remix bundle, but I want to get through the community center, honestly, as quickly as I can because as I understand it, a lot of the content for this update is after the community bundle and I would like to get beyond that point um, to be able to actually see the new content. I see a quest. Let's see what it is. No, not that. I would like a cute girl to bring me flounder, Sam. I think I have a flounder, so I'm going to accept this quest. If I don't, then it shouldn't be too difficult. Oh, I do have one, but that is for the community bundle, uh, so we might have to go catch one to be able to turn that in. Of course, I don't remember exactly where this goes or even if it goes in the community bundle, but just to be safe, I don't want to give it away. I'd rather go find one if I can because... I don't know, that just seems safer to me. But we gotta go check our trash cans. And then we're gonna go drop this off to Gunther. And I don't know if you've noticed these little areas, especially this particular little little community garden is part of Stardew Valley Expanded. And it is really cute, I really like it. And here we go, we're opening the museum for the first time. That's pretty exciting. So here we have Gunther looking at his empty display cases, abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Yes, sir, we will do that. The first item we're going to donate is a jade. I think we found that fishing, which is a pretty nice treasure that we found. And we immediately get some gold for that. With the new farm type, instead of starting with planting parsnips and waiting for them to grow, you start with the quest to collect eggs from your chickens and then the next quest that comes with that is building the silo and that is very difficult specifically in finding the clay for it 
Uh, so we need to work on seeing if we can find some clay. And this quest for Jody, I thought we'd have a parsnip, but we do not yet. Unfortunately, they have not grown yet, so we're just not going to be able to complete that quest. I think we're going to go try and hit our trash cans. Uh, we're trying to get that garbage hat and also the trash catalog that is a part of the new update you can have like trash furniture i guess and uh, that's just kind of fun so you have to hit them a certain amount of times before there's a chance for those items to spawn so i have to try to get those and then i think we are going to go and explore ridgeside village now this is a mod, it's an expansion, and uh, we did get a note in the mail, a note in the mail or a conversation with Lenny, one of the two, that said that we should come check it out. So I think we have time today, and we don't have a lot else to do uh, now that we've kind of done everything, so we're going to go explore Ridgeside. However, first I'm going to come collect these weeds over here. I don't have a good luck day, but hopefully we can get a uh, mixed seed maybe so we have some more crops to plant but i do not see any mixed seeds okay well maybe next time but here we go We're taking the little uh i don't know what this is called a tram or monorail i think it's a monorail taking the monorail up to ridgeside and here is ridgeside when you first exit the monorail if you go to the right here there's a little lookout which is pretty cute and there's a little bench up here that you can sit on and look out over the valley. Super cute. But if you go back this direction, the electrician's house, I think, is right here. I think that's what his name is. His job is. I think his name is, like, Kenneth or something. I might be wrong, but this is quite an expanded area. Completely a new area. Yeah, there's the electrician up there at the top. We'll go say hi to him real quick. Yes, Kenneth, you are the new resident of the valley. Nice to meet you, I'm Kenneth, Ridgeside Village's own electrician. Hope you're doing well. Now, as you can see, like, the introductions quest that I have is like 74 people involved in this quest. And that's because of the expansions that I have for Stardew. I have Ridgeside and East Scarp and then Stardew Valley Expanded. And those all add NPCs to the game. So... I found that that's kind of impossible to do right out the gate. The past few times that I've started a save with these mods installed, I've just waited until the egg festival to try to even finish that because it's just a lot easier at that point. Um, some of them are really hard to track down. Some of them are like behind closed doors like all the time. So probably we'll just wait to complete that one until the egg festival comes up. And now we're in the little like forested area for Ridgeside. There's a little bit of a foraging spot here, which is nice. They have unique forageables to this area, and it's just a really nice place to come if you're looking for some extra forageables, some extra cash. Um, these are also items that are used in recipes that are unique to Ridgeside. They're collectible recipes that you can either find or buy in Ridgeside and they uh, require some of these forageables so it's nice to have them. Some of the forageables when you collect them give you some really good buffs so they are good to have on hand. And now we have the cutscene. This is kind of like a tour that Linny is going to take us on of Ridgeside. Well hello there Sage. How was the cable car ride? Oh, it's a cable car, not a monorail. Okay, good to know. Welcome to Ridgeside Village, a village on the side of the ridge. The slogan is a work in progress. I guess you finally read the letter he gave you. I'm the one and only Lenny. Please hold your applause until after the tour. I'm the chief administrative officer of Ridgeside. It's a complicated way to say she who does the paperwork. We don't get a lot of visitors from outside the valley, so we're really happy to see you. It's been a while since anyone lived in that crusty old cottage on Chicory Farm. It was owned by a good friend of mine, so I hope you'll take good care of it. A good friend indeed. And this expansion alludes to some kind of relationship between Linny and Sage's grandfather, which I think is kind of cool. It's nice that uh, they kind of expanded the backstory a little bit. Let me show you around town with a quick tour. Buckle up, buckaroo. First, we have the Log Cabin Hotel. It's a great place to relax after a long hike through the mountains. It has a private balcony for events and even a gym on the third floor if you're still not worn out after your hike. This hotel actually has a event space that you unlock later in the game that you can host uh, birthday parties and I think anniversary events as well once you're married. But it's really nice. It 
adds a lot of friendship between you and the character that you're throwing a birthday party for so it's really nice little touch it kind of adds to the story element of the gameplay that you can like you know plan a little birthday party for your friends a very nice addition to the game this right here is the town square. It's the beating heart of the village. Folks like to hang around here and socialize with other townspeople, weather permitting. Up these stairs is where the magic happens. That's my office. It's made of wood, bricks, and paperwork. I occasionally visit Lewis regarding municipal duties or, you know, just to tease him for taking himself too seriously. Honestly, somebody's got a Lenny. He definitely takes himself too seriously. It's my Yoba given right as his sister. Smell that? That's Pika's, the primary hub for Ridgeside Cuisine. I like the dishes he serves, and I love the atmosphere. Don't even get me started on the view. Don't look down, though. If you do, don't blame me when you start feeling nauseous. Feast your eyes on the starbound stage. Robin and Clint helped us build this stage for gatherings and activities. It hasn't seen much use lately. It's a shame, to tell the truth. Local morale hasn't been all that great recently, either. There are rumors going around town about dangerous fruits and spooky ghosts. I can assure you, those are nothing but rumors. The only dangerous fruit is a pumpkin during Spirit's Eve. There are several other farmers living in the village. Jarek's farm, the Blooming Hill Farm, is located in the northwest. He must be made of mushrooms because he's a fun guy. Get it? But seriously, he sells useful farming products. We also have Nightingale Orchard in the southwest, managed by the Leidens and their niece, Alyssa. Alyssa is a sweet young lady with a wonderful voice. She lacks the confidence to perform, unfortunately. Perhaps someone special could help her find herself. That concludes the grand tour. I wish you a warm welcome to the Valley Sage and an even warmer welcome to Ridgeside Village. So this is Ridgeside Village. Up here we have a, a like a scientific lab and there's a scientist who works in here, which is pretty cool. I don't think he's here right now, so we can't say hi to him, but this is where he works. This is his little lab area. And then down here, oh, let's hit the trash can first. Nothing, oh my goodness, we've got not good luck today with trash cans. Uh, but down here we have another farm. I think there's an orchard over this direction. There's a little orchard down here. And see if there's anyone we can talk to down here. They do sell some saplings here, but it doesn't look like anyone is here right now. So we'll have to come back a different time. And if we come up this way, there's some more houses. Somebody's growing some strawberries. Only Lola's friends can enter, okay. And this area does actually have some fish specific to this area as well. So it... At some point we'll have to come fish up here for those. I do want to get completion in this game, so I believe because of that, because I have this mod downloaded, the fish and everything uh, from that is included in this. And then over here we have Pika's, Pika's Diner. This is Pika. Aloha. You must have followed your nose. I'm Pika. I own Pika's, an outdoor restaurant in the heart of the village. I'm from Ember Island in the Fern Islands. Maybe I can teach you some of our language sometime, eh? And then over here you can actually buy recipes that, uh, these are all the recipes I was talking about that are specific to Ridgeside. Um, and you can see they have some really good buffs on them here and then you can buy them already made over on this side of the restaurant. And this is the square. There's also extra quests in this area. And this says, anyone or heard of the Pepper Rex? They're quite fun to hunt. I challenge anyone to slay 10 of them and I'll reward you handsomely, which I believe are uh, Skull Cavern enemies. Uh, so we're definitely not to the point of being able to do that. A lot of this area is uh, very late game focused. And then if we come up this direction, there's another area that is quite challenging actually it's not gonna be open quite yet but uh look at that we found some seeds so here's another cutscene that kind of explains the little storyline behind this area a mysterious man seems to be lurking in the dark i see the late farmer's grandchild has arrived to the valley the spirits greet you farmer i am but a nameless traveler but you may refer to me as geo you can see the true shape of my ears well, that's certainly a surprise. Usually the seer's magic hides my true form to humans, but I doubt people will believe you anyway. What was that about? There's a quest line for this area that I'm not 
actually completely sure what it's about. This is a very late game uh, challenge. It's a very challenging area. You kind of have to go up. If I can find it, there's a spot. I think it's down here somewhere. Uh, there's a spot that you can go in. I guess it's like you're going down the mountain from right here. And there is like a ton of enemies uh, that will just spawn and they just keep coming and coming. And there's something that you're supposed to find up there. And I have not been able to figure it out you really have to have some really good defense and weapons before you kind of go in that area because some of the enemies even have a debuff that if you get hit by it you can no longer gain health by eating food so uh, if you're not careful and if you're not skilled enough for that area then you're gonna be toast uh, because uh, you will die and you won't be able to regain health by eating food. It's nice that there's an area up in Ridgeside that if you're getting kind of tired of the game after you finished all of the main storyline that you have something to kind of continue to work towards that is definitely going to be a challenge so that's that's a nice addition for late game. But for now I think we've spent our day well in exploring Ridgeside and I'm just gonna put some stuff away, sell some stuff, and call it a day. And hopefully tomorrow we'll at least get started on opening the community center and get all of the items that we've stored donated. We got that planted and I think we're gonna call it a night. Alright, well, thank you for hanging out with me today. I had a blast and I hope you did as well. Hopefully next time we can work on getting that community center opened and I think maybe even do some mining. I believe that the mine will open up and hopefully also we will get our pet. Right now we're playing Stardew and I've also been playing some Sims 4 if you'd like to check that out. But I plan to start incorporating even more cozy stories very soon. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. But until then, I hope you have an awesome day.